Hey everybody, it's your girl Yvonne Plans back again. I came to show you my setup for this year. I know it's late, the year is almost gone, blah, blah, blah. Listen, it's been a busy year, okay? So let's get into the video. So this year I switched from spiral to A5 ring bound. This is the black on black A5 ring bound from Gold Mountain Coco. They are sold out. However, she did state that she'll be bringing in a new one this year. So hopefully by next month or September or so, we'll be getting a new one. Um, so this is like a black quilted design. I really love it. As you can see, it's thick. It has three centimeter rings, 30, 30 centimeter, I think she said. So when you open it, I did a lot of customization to it. Um, I have clips from Capital Chick Design out of Michaels. I have an affirmation card from Notique in there. As you can see, my color scheme is like pink and black or blush and black, however you want to see it. Um, this card, I'm not sure. It says this girl can. Um, I think it was a freebie in one of the sales that I did, a collab sale. I think it was a freebie. This was another freebie. I love it. It's actually a sticker, but I like them so much. I didn't want to take it out and stick it in here. So I put her in here. This bow comes from the schedule planner. Um, the schedule planner on Etsy. Most of my stuff came from either Etsy or Goldman & Coco. So you'll see. Uh, this clip came from Notique. You get like a pack of three, I think, of these clips. This, if I'm not mistaken, was another freebie that came in one of the collab sales. It's just a little purse. I just thought it was cute. So I just stuck it there. Sorry about that. Then I have another Capital Chick Design clip. Sassy, Moody, Nasty, Classy, Boozy, Ratchet. These came from um, Mel Meanie's Planner Goods on Etsy. So did this clip. This clip as well. Um, these three sticky notepads are from Gold Mine and Coco. I just stuck them in there. Every now and then I might use one. Um, it also has a zipper pouch right here. I've never opened it because I don't have the reason to, but it does have additional room here and additional room back here that you can stick stuff in depending on how you want to utilize your planner. Uh, I have, Maya Angelou is like, was, because she's deceased now, but she was like my idol from a little girl. And I've always loved the I Am um, Woman, uh, Phenomenal Woman poem. So I actually had it made by Keller Plans, um, scripted, and I put I Am Woman Phenomenally in the front, and Phenomenal Woman, that's me in the back. So I really, really love the way it came out. Uh, these vellum dashboards actually came from Planner Swag Boutique on Etsy. Of uh, The trunk pieces, Gold Mine and Coco. That picture is me last year. I just took a picture and put it up there. I just love that picture. Uh, these came three, three designs in a pack, I think it was. I have the plastic dividers. These came from Fancy Plants Co. website. I'll have, er I'll have everybody's um, names listed below. This personal bill of rights, uh, a friend of mine printed this out for me. I love it. I'm not going to read it all because it's a lot. But I really love it. And every now and then I do come back to it and look at it. Just to remind myself of what my personal rights are with myself. So these dashboards came from Gold Mine and Coco. I love them. They feel like they're like so soft. So soft. But I love them. Uh, again, pla all the plastic dividers like this came from Fancy Plants. Uh, I have a planner routine, so it has what you're supposed to do daily, weekly, 
monthly, quarterly, and annually as far as your planner updating. I do look at this every now and then. I don't remember to look at it every day, but I do look at it every now and then. Um, these personalized dashboards came from uh, da -da -da -da, the Clever Planner on Etsy. I love these. They have different ones. I have three in here, so you'll be able to see the, some of the different styles. But they have a lot of different styles, and you can customize it all you want. So that's my name. Um, these clips came from Goldmine and Coco. I brought these. These were in her anniversary box that she sent out recently. So it was a set of four. You'll get to see the rest of them in a minute. Uh, these task cards came from KP. Scribbles by KP. So I put my morning routine on one. And I put my social media routine on the other, which I have to start actually going by that. Um, the envelopes came from KP. Scribbles by KP as well. This one came from gold mining coco it was in one of her boxes um the gold planner came from gold mining coco i don't have the whole year in here i really only have the um the quarter because i plan by quarter now so i only have the quarter in here but i kept the front seat the front um, because it has my annual goals which i use patent stickers to represent of course those are gold mining coco you have a mind mapping session. So my word of the year is renew. I want to renew every part of my life. Um, Health-wise, spiritual-wise, financial-wise, business-wise, like everything. So um, at the end of this quarter, it'll be, yeah, two quarters of the year. So I'll go to, I'm going to go in and just highlight everything that I've done. Just so this one I've already, because I've, achieved this goal i highlighted it around the edges i didn't want to highlight the whole circle but i did highlight around the edges so every time i complete one i just highlight around the edges but then i'll come on the mind mapping page and highlight the box this clip came from cookie sticker co she's actually a washi company but she's branching out with other things in this clip it's a unk i really love it um i have it in rose gold and i also have it in black uh, I'm going to show you the empty, one of the empty pages. I don't have the affirmation page in here, but there's an affirmation page. But I'm going to show you what her uh, empty month looks like. So this is August goals. So you have the month, the goals. You have a section for personal goals, work goals, and creative goals. And it, everyone has a, a quote on it. So for August, it says your goals don't care how you feel. And the, you'll do this at the, what I do is the week before the month starts, I'll come in and do these goals because I go back to July to uh, review, well, the previous month to review what I did. And that's what you do on this page. So I would, uh, what had I accomplished? What I learned? How can I improve? And then you put a photo for the month and you kind of write in, um, you know, whatever you did that month. So, like, this is my uh, June. So, th the goals part is not there, but this is pretty much the end result. And I just decorate it. And you just, it's a, it's a year's worth, so you could just go in and, you know, plan. You can plan the whole year if you want to, but I do it month to month because that just makes more sense to me. Uh, after my goals journal, I have these. Uh, dashboards like this are actually printouts from the Gold Mountain Cocoa website. Uh, you purchase them, download them, and what I did was I had them printed out, um, but they printed out big, so I cut them down to an A5 size. But I just love the way it looked on top of the pink um, cloth and paper coat dividers. The cloth and paper is a set of one. I think it was a set of five, but you have the grind, which is your calendar. Uh, you have social light. You have moolah. It was another one that says, said girlfriends, I think, or something like that. And then it says whatever. So I'll show you how I'm using them. 
the grind of course is my calendar so what i did because you know as you can see it's plain so i have the vellum on the top not vellum but the clear laminate i have that on the top to just give it some boom at the front I really like how she looks on top of that pink. That is gorgeous. And then on the back, I just took some. So, Goldman and Coco had a they fall bundle that came with the calendar and different things. They had these journal cards in them. So, I just took some of these. I took some of the trunk pieces. Some, you know, just different Goldman and Coco. And just decorated the back just to give it some pop to it. So, I didn't want it to be too plain. So this is another one of the dashboards that I purchased from, um, uh, excuse me, from the Clever Planner. So this one I put as calendar and I really liked her. She reminded me of myself when I was younger. And then I just put a car, uh, Goldman and Coco um, holder on the back. I think what I'm gonna do is fill these up with like my business cards. Then I have the 2021 calendar also from the Clever Planner. This is, I really don't use this. I'm really thinking about taking it out because I, I never look at it. It's just in here. And I'm really getting it to the point where I want everything to have a purpose. So these dash, these dividers came as a set for Gold Mine and Coco. Um, so I think you got like four or five of them. But this is one of them. It says progress over perfection. And then I have my 2021 monthly calendar, which is also from Gold Mine and Coco. This pen is one of the other pens that I got. For all of the topical pens are from Gold Mine and Coco's anniversary box. So I'm gonna show you what the monthly looks like. So the monthly you have at the front important dates, bills, events for that month. And then you come in and you have a month at a glance and you have notes and then you have the next month's calendar so you could look at it while you're planning then in this one this is another one mindset shift which comes with the gold mine and coco another clip this is my business planner so these are months on one page i was actually able to fit the whole year in here uh i don't know where this come from my friend again printed it down for me we did a planner meetup and she printed this stuff off of me so i said this will be perfect for my business so i pretty much just write all of my milestones in my business i write my goals like you can see this month um these days i took off because it's my birthday week uh, but i just put my goals on here different milestones what i need to do for that month just all on here so that's the business monthly. And then when you go into the next one, which says opportunity knocks, this, and then you have these dashboards, which are also gold mine and cocoa. This one is my weeklies. So gold mine and cocoa has a weekly planner pad, which is like a pre planner. So I put my task here for the week everything that i know i have to do for the week i put here and i pretty much just put the time that i want to do them under the date that i want to do them and then here is like a daily routine routine these are things that i know i have to do every day regardless and i just put what it is next to the time that it takes place and i just crossed out the days that i have to do it so that's what i put so i put my personal hour at 8 a.m and what it, which i'm really struggling with getting up at eight but my purse my personal hour those are the things i need to do on my personal hours and i just put it through monday through friday compass that's my day job so i know i have to work i start work at nine every day monday through friday so at 11 o'clock i usually take my first break um so i decided to do a part one power hour which I'll do it. I'll do a um, video on the Power Hour later. Um, but Power Hour Part One is I do my Pinterest page. Power Hour Part Two at two when I go on lunch, um, I respond to my social media. So this is from eight to five.
So then we get into our weekly. So this particular weekly that I have, let me show you a blank one, uh, was actually like a misprint for Gold Mountain Cocoa. I brought them because I just needed some inserts. I ran out of my other ones and these were on sale, so I bought them. Um, but they punched completely wrong, so she just discounted them just to get them out the warehouse, which I was like, that's cool with me. Um, so what I did was I just took the edges and put washi tape on them. And what I do is I plan for the whole month. So I'll at the beginning of the month, when I do my plan, I'll plan it for the whole month. I'll decorate for the whole month. So when it comes to me doing weekly planning, I could just come in and write in my plans. So when I get ready to plan my August monthly, when I do my August monthly, I'll come in here and decorate the weeks for August. I think August has five weeks in it. This pad, actually, this pad also came from gold mining cocoa it was in her pay and subscription box which i'm going to start doing videos on those as i get them those are her quarterly subscriptions she has pay and she has the treasure chest uh subscriptions and i'm um, with gold mining cocoa so i'm i'm a cookie sticker co subscriptions too for the washi so i'll start doing videos on those to open them up but you get some nice stuff like these came in there this notepad uh came in there you get a lot like i've thrown some i've actually used and thrown some away so and it still has a lot left so i just took a handful of them and punched them and just sat them in there this is my running to-do list so things that i don't necessarily have a date or a deadline for i just keep a running tab and as i do them i just highlight them and i just keep on writing that's all so as you can see it's my birthday thursday uh, I was supposed to be going out of town, but I can't because of something came up for work, but that's fine. Uh, so these are my weeklies. I'm going to be moving into another set of weeklies when these run out. So you'll see that as well. This is says gratitude. What flows out of you comes back to you abundantly. The energy you give is the energy you receive, which in this section, I have my notes. So this particular page comes from an antique. So I use this. There's a notary um subscription that i have that teaches us about the business of being a notary so um i just wrote down all the classes that i have access to and as i take them i'll just write the dates and then i just have like just notes just notes all over the place that's all these particular note pages like this the off-white ones come from notique the classic white ones, the quick to do's, come from Gold Mining Cocoa, as you can see. So I just keep that in there. This says grind, shine, grind hard, shine harder. So I have another clear, uh, which came as part of the set from Gold Mining Cocoa. And this one says social light on it. So again, I just took some Gold Mining Cocoa things that related to this section and just put them on there. I have a trip wish list, running wish list. This is a notique paper again. So 2022, this is what I wanna do. This so far is what I have planned. This travel checklist comes from Prima Donna Studios on um, Etsy, I love it. So it has a checklist for you to check off everything that you need while you're packing what to pack before you leave, things that you need to do. Um, I had a trip planned for my birthday, but of course, again, I can't go. So had to cancel this, but I went in and I just highlighted everything I knew I was gonna need. So when I get ready to pack, I could just check it off. But let me show you a blank one so that you'll see. So this is what a blank one looks like. And you write your destination, your dates, if you're taking flights, that information. Um, your accommodations, transportation, and then you kind of write a budget and then you could come back and write the actual one here. So you could kind of like keep track of your trips. This map is a map of the United States. I really don't remember where I got this from, uh, but I think it was an Etsy shop, but I don't see it on Etsy, so I don't know. But I want to, before I leave this earth, I want to travel to every state in the United States. So that's why I bought this map. And what I'll do is, once I travel, I'll just write where I'm where I went, the city that I went to, and I just highlight it. I want this whole map filled before I die. So this is something that I'm gonna carry from year to year in my planner until it's done. 
Here's another clear cover that came with the packet from Gold Mountain Cocoa. So those three designs that you see like this actually came together. Uh, this one says Moolah, so this is my money section. Again, I just kind of put, this is one of my favorite dolls from Gold Mountain Cocoa. Her name is Craze. I really love this doll. So I just pulled some more stuff, Gold Mountain Cocoa stickers and stuff, and just put it on there um, to kind of just give me some thought. The Good Fruit Budget Planner comes from Gold Mountain Cocoa. So it's an A5, so I just punched it. It came as a regular booklet, like a stitch, stitch, no, stapled or something. But I just took it apart and punched it. I love this design. Um, I created my own savings tracker with some gold mining cocoa stickers, some a sticker book that I have that has a bunch of letters on it, a budget sticker book that I have. So this, every month, I just come on at the end of the month and write what my savings balance is. Um, this is the opening page again. This washi comes from um, Mini Rose Co. These other stickers come from Gold Mountain Coco. This is her trunk pieces, and this doll just happened to have on an outfit that matches. This it says envision your money. Like if I lift these up, each one has a um, going in, a saying in it. So this one is financially free, debt free, money management, save, invest, grow, money blessings prosperity and spend less i put these over it um to kind of give it some color and i'm going to actually write in something pertaining to each one of these these are me stating what my life would look like and these affirmation stickers came with the bundle when you got this because this was a treasure chest box so it came with sticker sheets so I just put on here what my life would look like. And then you have your monthly bills tracker. This is one page. So this is like your template. So you have your household bills, your membership bills, your maintenance, your miscellaneous hobby, what your vacation goal is or what your savings goal is. And then you break it down. You have, this is a separate sheet that she has. That's a monthly bills tracker. I used this. I took this and transferred it to this. Um, just to kind of have a double check i don't know then you have your reoccurring payments these are actually yearly i don't have weekly reoccurring payments so i just use this for the yearly bi-weekly monthly and quarterly so then you have how to budget and stack like a boss so this just breaks down uh what your income versus expenses are so the different percentages and how much those percentages are based on your income and then credit so you take your credit cards you total them what your credit limits are you take your utilization which is 30 percent of that how much that is and you take your household expenses and you determine how much uh, your household expenses is and you just want this to be underneath that you want this to be less than that and then you have your credit cards what your minimum monthly is the due date and the statement date because it tells you that what you need to do is pay after your statement date but prior to your um due date so that is what we try to do and then this is did you pay your bill so you list your bill the amounts the dates and then every month you just check it off as you pay it these i got from gold mining coco as well they were in one of the treasure chest box i think uh but they're three for five i think they're still on the site so you get three for five so i just hole punched them and stuck them in here they come solid because they're bookmarked, so you can use them in whatever, but I just stuck them in here, so I hole punched them and stuck them in here. Um, this Afterpay tracker comes from Gold Mountain Cocoa as well. As you can see, I use Afterpay a lot. This debt tracker, this is separate though from the budget planner. You can purchase these separately. Um, debt tracker, so you list the debt, how much it is, your minimum amount, uh, any payments you make, and if you doing the snowball, you can write how much extra and how often you'll pay it. So I got those. And then you go into 
your month. I'm going to show you a blank month so you can see what it looks like. So this is August. So you have your goals, your bills, important, and then your monthly spread. Um, what I normally do is I write my unconventional bills here. So like my afterpays, stuff that is not consistent. I write here my financial goals here, any important events or anything here. And then I fill this out and put my put my um, bills on here. So this month I covered this up. And I kind of wrote in my non-informative bills. But this is one of the kits that she has. Uh, and then you go into how you track your expenses. So you have, you do your monthly budget for that particular month. So you have your income section, your reoccurring auto payments, your savings, your fixed expenses, variable. And then you do a summary. So you put your total income your total fixed your total variable total savings and how much you have left and then you do the actual how much you have have left if you have debt i would suggest that you put it toward your debt snowball so this is where you track all of your money i do mine a little differently if it's a bill that's here i don't put it here this is for all the extra stuff if a bill gets paid i just write it here because you only get two, two of these sheets so for the month. This is a monthly no spend tracker and savings tracker. I don't utilize this page, but they just did a live um, and came up with a great idea of how to use this page. So I might actually go ahead and start using it. And it goes through the year. I have the whole year in here. So that's pretty much the end of the year. And then I added these are extra sheets that you could get from Gold Mine and Cocoa. These are monthly expenses. So if you don't want to get the whole budget planner and you want to just have monthly expenses, I purchased this for my business. So I have the first quarter, which is July through September. I write how much income I expect to make that month, how much I actually made that month, when do I pay myself, and the amount. And I just write my expenses here. This is good tracking. So when you get ready to do your taxes and stuff like that, you have that. So, and I just use trunk pieces to decorate. This actually came out of one of her sticker books. Uh, so I just use that to kind of decorate. Again, another one of the Clever Planner dashboards. And I just use this for my extra section. This section, again, another one of the patterns from Gold Mine and Coco. This one says whatever's. And again, I just decorated with some Gold Mine and Coco trunk pieces and journaling cards and sticker books. And I just put my TV tracker back here. So this is wonderful. This is also offered from Gold Mine and Coco. So you pretty much just write what um, the TV show is that you want to watch. Where is it on? And what season, I usually put all because I like to binge watch. So these are the ones I have so far. And I haven't, the only one I've completed was unexpected. I haven't completed any other ones. I'm working on the Cosby show. And then I have this dashboard, which also comes from Gold Mine and Coco. And then I have this, I think I got this off of Amazon, this pocket. And all I do is I keep my main stickers which also come from gold mine and coco these are no longer uh available but they're just some clear stickers and then i have my bible study cook stickers from peep the bow creations and my budget stickers also from peep the bow creations these were actually freebies that she gave me and these dots come from gold mine and coco as well and these are ones that i use uh most common so i just leave them in here and then I have another dashboard from Gold Mine and Coco. And then I have another Classy Bougie Ratchet. Another one of these. I just love her. Look at her. Oh, yes, ma'am. And then I have this that says Flossom. This comes from Cloth and Paper. And it says an individual who embraces their flaws and knows they are awesome regardless. So that's a reminder for me. And that's it, you guys. It also has a pen loop. Um, I don't keep a pen in here because I really write with all kind of different pens. Like, it just depends on how I feel that day. Uh, but I did have a K, uh, Scribbles by KP pen in there. But I took it out because I broke the top of it. But it was a, I love that pen to death. So, yep. Yeah. 
So this is my A5, my gold mining cocoa A5. I am gonna be switching some things up probably. I don't know if I'm gonna wait until next year to switch it up or um, switch it up. But one of the things I wanna do is take all of my business stuff out and put it in a different planner because when I'm going to do my business stuff, I don't wanna have to carry this whole planner. I would rather keep my business stuff separate. Um, and I think I'm gonna move out of this budget planner, although I love it. I love it. I think it's really like, the size of it is perfect. The information in it is perfect. It's just for where I am in my journey, I need a little more um, than what this has. So, but that's another video for another day. But if you are just really like, just need something to track your income and your savings or whatever, this is, I think this is perfect and it's cute. Look at this. Beautiful. Yep, so that's my A5 planner, you guys, from Gold Mine and Coco. Again, the, this particular planner is no longer. Oh, I forgot the keychains. So these came from Gold Mine and Coco in her advent box when she when she I think she's gonna do it again this year. Uh, so look out for that. Because she does it as a pre-order. And then this one comes from the same company as this one, which was Mel Melanie's Planner Goods. So that's where this one came from. And I just stuck these on here because I just love them. So, yep, that's my A5 planner, you guys. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends to come over and look up your girl. I will start doing my plan with me's this week. Thank you so much and peace out.